This is my favorite pen. It's super light, the ink never bleeds. It dries almost instantly, and it just makes me want to journal every single day. In this video, I'm going to share seven of my favorite stationary pen and mechanical pencils to hopefully inspire you to journal more. Usually, I make videos about how to optimize your life, but because of the amount of comments in my previous video about what pen I use and what pen I recommend, I thought I would make this video sharing the best pens I found after testing literally hundreds of pens. I've actually been collecting pens for a while now. I grew up in Taiwan, so I had access to these crazy stationery stores where they would just sell like hundreds and hundreds of pens. And I also often visit Japan where they have a similar type of store. I think it's super underrated to actually find a pen or mechanical pencil that you like because it's sort of like playing guitar. A lot of people, when they start out, they buy like a cheap guitar. But what usually happens is that when you get a cheap guitar, you won't really feel like playing and it won't inspire you to play more. And so those people often give up. But if you invest in a pen or you look for a pen that you really like, it can really compound in many different ways. Like you might write more often, you might use analog systems more often than digital ones. So I highly recommend getting a pen that you really like. And I'll share my absolute favorite one in this video. I'm pretty sure all of them you can find on Amazon. I'm gonna link all of them in the description if you want to get them, but some of them might be low in stock so they might sell out. I'm gonna show you my favorite pen in terms of overall versatility and writing, and also my favorite pens in terms of build quality and just the overall feel. At the end of the video, I also share my favorite portable pens for when I'm just out and about. The first pen I wanna show you is my favorite all-rounder pen, and that's the Pentel Energel. You might've seen this version in a few different videos. This one is a capped version of the Pentel Energel. It's the same ink, but the form factor is different. And this one comes in um, different colors. I used to have a green one too that I lost, but this one right here is the updated version that is a retractable pen. This pen never bleeds on any paper I've ever tried. It dries almost instantly, so it never smudges. And it's just such a pleasure to write in them. I use this all throughout college, and I literally found this pen after ordering dozens and dozens of pens from Japan and other random stationary websites. For some reason, I could never even find these in stores in Japan, so I think they are pretty rare. The retractable pen version you can definitely find in stores and also on Amazon, I'll link it in the description. I'll also link this one, but it usually goes out of stock pretty quickly. This one comes in many different colors. So I have like a blue one, a, a orange one, and maybe some dark one. I used to take all of my notes in college with the Pentel Energel, and I've literally filled probably hundreds and hundreds of pages of math notes with the Pentel Energel. Yeah, like these notes right here, I literally took them with this. I really like them, and it like motivated me to take more notes in my classes just because of how nice it was. And even now when I look at it, it's like I can see that I made an effort to really like organize these notes. These capped ones, I used to buy them in bulk. I have a bunch of them laying around the house. And every time I've lent this pen to a friend, I've just never seen it again, which just shows how good this pen is. So if you want to just order the Pentel Energel and stop watching here, you'll probably have a good time with them. But this is actually not my favorite pen in terms of build quality. And that's the next pen I want to show you. So this is called the Roaching 800. And, and this is one of my favorite pens in terms of build quality. It's completely made out of metal and it has a really nice weight when you just hold it in your hand. It's kind of shaped like a number two pencil, but it feels super premium. It has this, um, I don't know what this would be called, like perforated or like, it has this like nice feeling in the metal right here. And in order for the pen to come out, it's actually not like a click, but it's a, it's a turn. Which is a pretty unique uh, way to use it. What I like about this pen is that it will never roll off the table. It feels really nice in your hand. It has this nice weight to it. And this is also pretty portable to like toss in a backpack because you know that the pen itself will never break uh, once it's retracted. It's not as smooth as the Pentel Energel, but I often choose this pen too, just because it feels really nice in my hand. It actually comes in two versions. So this silver one is the ballpoint pen, but it comes in this black one, which is a mechanical pencil. So see when the tip comes out, it's a mechanical pencil. And I've actually used this black one for over 10 years since high school. I actually had a classmate uh, take one of them and I never saw it again. I actually, I had to get another one, but I still use this one for 10 years, which is just crazy to see how good the build quality is. Like it's only, the colors only come off a little bit around the edges, but I still think it looks pretty cool. You can kind of see like, I don't know if it's copper underneath, but you can see the colors coming through. 
the mechanism of these two pens is basically it pops it out when you turn it. But I actually want to show you the most satisfying retractable pen that I've ever found. This next one is called the Parker Jotter. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. This one's like completely matte black. This one's half metal, half plastic. There's actually a legendary pen that has a history of over 70 years. If you ever try this, you'll see that this is probably one of the most satisfying clicks that you ever try in a pen. It has actually been in a ton of movies, including James Bond as a C4 grenade, I think as a detonator, and also Hot Fuzz, which is one of my favorite movies. It has a super nice design. And the reason why the click is so good is because I believe that they were actually one of the first pens to come out with this retractable technology and they patented how they were able to do this. There's like some engineering videos where they break down this, the engineering behind how the click works. But all you need to know is that it's super satisfying to click it and then start writing. Once you try this, it feels like every retractable pen is just trying to emulate the satisfying click on this one. As for the writing itself, this is just a pretty standard uh, ballpoint pen. I think ballpoint pen works better for retractable ones so that the ink doesn't dry out as easily. But I've actually bought this uh, replacement ink that makes it a little bit, little bit smoother. So you can also try that too if you don't like the way it writes. I would definitely recommend this pen because it's just super satisfying to click and start writing. The next pen is a gel pen that I think has one of the most elegant and clean designs. It's made by this company called Muji in Japan, which actually means no logo. So you won't find any logo on these pens, which I really like. Because it's in this translucent body, you can always just see how much ink is left, which is really convenient. And you can you won't mistake what color the pen is because, because you can just see through it. I think this is almost as smooth as the Pentel Energel, but sometimes I found that the ink might bleed a little bit when you rub past it right after writing. So I still prefer the Pentel Energel, but this pen has other benefits, which is like the cap fits perfectly here. And because the design is so sleek and smooth, it's actually one of the best pens for doing pen tricks, if you're into that at all. In Asia, where I grew up, this was like super huge. Every person in class was trying to learn these pen tricks. And this is one of the best pens to be doing that. But next up, I want to share my favorite mechanical pencil. So I already showed you the Roaching 800, which is a really nice mechanical pencil in terms of build quality. It's completely made of metal and it's super sturdy feeling. But there's actually this special one that has this innovation and it's called the Kudu Togo. So what's special about this mechanical pencil is that every time you lift the lead off the paper, it actually rotates a little bit. So it ensures that it never becomes dull. If you prefer writing in pencil, and sometimes I prefer writing pencil or sometimes I'll sketch stuff in mechanical pencil, this is one of my favorite ones to use. I actually have this old Kudu Togo that I've used for over 10 years and I've taken every exam ever with this pen for as long as I can remember. I've had it as a tradition. I've even etched my name in the side right here and I still have it. I think I just, I think I just removed the clip just by bending it off and then I kind of sanded it a little bit. And this one is like really nice for doing pen tricks too because there's nothing blocking anything. For these mechanical pencils, you have to get separate lead. And this one, this is like a standard one that you might find. I usually prefer 2B or 3B just because it's uh, more smooth. But the downside is that it'll smudge more often. And uh, recently when I was in Japan, I did find this super cool lead case that has this retractable mechanism and it just feels really premium. So this is really cool as well. And I'm pretty sure you can get this online. And the last thing with these pencils is I have this uh, retractable eraser. So I don't really like using uh, the traditional eraser that you might find. This one is kind of, you can push the eraser out and be more refined in how you erase stuff. So I can be. So yeah, this is like my go-to set for when I want to use pencils. Okay. Next up, I want to show a unique pencil. I don't know if it's considered a pencil or a pen that I use for color. So a lot of people, they might have many different pens that have different colors, or you'll see those pens that you can change different colors. But I actually found this in like the color pencil section, which this retractable pen has a bunch of different color pencils in here. And in, or in order to change the color, I just have to turn this. And so let's say I turn it to red right here. It'll come out. And now I can, you know, color something 
in my journal red, like if I want to highlight something, or if I want it to be like a green, turn to green, but uh, sorry, that's blue. And I like using color pencils in my journal sometimes when I want to just label something to be green or red. And some, and I prefer using color pencils instead of highlighters too in books. This is just a super nice form factor that has, you know, every color of the rainbow. And I prefer this over pens and highlighters. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I also link this in the description. But lastly, I want to share my favorite portable pens that I use and carry around when I'm out and about. So the first one I've showed in a different video, but it's basically just this one that fits perfectly into my pocket journal. So this is like a normal ballpoint pen in terms of writing ability. I think it's pretty good, but the main reason I like this one is just because of how portable it is. But for a while, I used a Fisher Space Bullet Pen, which uh, it comes in black, but I just got this purple one. And this clip also comes off. But what I like about this one is that it's super small and portable. And then when you are using it, it actually becomes the size of a normal pen. So this one is nicer to write on compared to my normal one, but just this one fits right here. They actually designed the Fisher Space Bullet Pen for space. So it, it's literally waterproof, uh, works without gravity and almost never dries out. I think it was actually used on the Apollo mission in the 1960s. So yeah, there's a huge history behind this pen and you can try this one too. Besides these small pens, I usually just carry around uh, one of the capped Pentel Energels because I just really like writing in this. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you another regular one in the next one. Let's get it.